Good morning, everybody. Kristen here. I wanted to jump on real quick to talk to you guys about what you are possibly doing right now in your singledom. Are you making the most of your singledom, your singleness, your single time, your solo time? <laughs> the reason why I ask this is because I've been single in various spaces throughout my life and there was some very unhealthy single areas of my life and some extremely healthy single areas of my life and the times that I was unhealthy doing things that was not serving me they seemed to drag on and on and on and the times that I was doing things that were extremely serving and very healthy seemed to like fly by and I also want to add that those times that I was single and I was doing the serving and healthy things, I look back on them now honest to God. They are probably the happiest points of my life. I know. Shocker. Because we think, oh, we're, uh, we're single. We're supposed to be unhappy. Well, that's what happens is how we view our singledom and what are we doing in those moments. So... What those times that I look back on and I was extremely unhealthy were the times that I was in the mad hunt to find a man. I was hated being single. I had all kinds of beliefs wrapped up around it that there was something wrong with me, that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't pretty enough. Whatever it was, the list could go on about what the beliefs, the limiting, false, gnarly, ugly beliefs that I had wrapped up in being single and then there was another time in my life where I was single and I remember I was just felt the most freedom I was happy I felt good inside I glowed on the outside and I wasn't looking for a man I was just extremely happy being me and you can imagine what happened when you're at your most happy your most peaceful that's when you are the most attractive. So we think it's makeup. We think it's false eyelashes. We think it's bigger boobs, losing weight, smaller butt, bigger butt, um, different color skin, fake tans, whatever we think it is that is going to make us the most attractive to men. And I'm here to tell you guys, that's not it. That's not it. Your man is going to be attracted to you for you. Whatever you is. It doesn't have to be all this fluff. Okay? Your ideal man is going to be attracted to you. But what a healthy man is going to be attracted to is your light. Is your happiness. It's your joy. It's the fact that you have your life together. That you are living it. And you are having a damn good time. And it shows. And guess what? You won't need him in a needy way. You might want him, but you won't be needy. You won't be desperate. Neediness and desperation attract users, abusers, jerks, narcissists, and cheaters. They attract men who need it to be all about them, the selfish ones, the me, me, me ones. They love that needy and desperate because we're all about them. Ooh, love me, love me. What can I give you? What can I give you? That's what we do. But a healthy woman, she gives freely and she receives freely. She doesn't overdo. She's very happy in herself. She's open. She's vulnerable. She has healthy boundaries. Healthy men are looking for that. They're looking for women that are healthy too. So I might have digressed a little bit there. Hopefully I didn't. But I wanted to add this one thing. This is what this entire video is about. What are you doing during your single time? Are you jumping from, from dating app to dating app? Are you trying to improve your body? Now, if you're improving your body for confidence-wise, for your own thing, there's things I'd, I like to look a certain way. I like to feel a certain way. There's nothing wrong with that. But I also know I'm still attractive just like this because 
someone will love me that way too. All right, so it's a difference between being a preference. I have a preference of looking and feeling a certain way or I'm doing it because I think I need to get a guy. That the only way I'm gonna get a guy is if I have this, okay? But what are you doing right now in your single time? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you having fun? But most of all, are you evolving? Are you looking back on your romantic hits and misses and going, what did I learn? What is there? What is the lessons in these things? How do I not repeat certain mistakes? How can I forgive myself for mistakes that I've made? How can I let myself off the hook? How can I love myself better? How can I give myself more grace? How can I make me a priority in my life rather than making him and everybody else my priority? All right, you guys, I made this video, recorded this for you because I want you to just take stock in what you're doing right now in your singledom. Are you fighting it? Are you hating every minute of it? Are you kicking and screaming? Do you wish you weren't single, especially now because this is being recorded on December, well, I don't know what date it is. I'm gonna guess maybe the 19th or 20th, uh, 2020. And um, a lot of people are probably hating being single right now. We've been quarantined and all that stuff. You guys know 2020. Even in five years, if you're listening to this video, you can remember 2020. <laughs> but how are you viewing your single dumb right now? Are you having fun in it? If you notice that you're self-protected and like super guarded, are you working on that? Are you trying to be the happiest you can be? Here's the thing, universally, because you know I'm all about the law of attraction and the laws of the universe, and the most magnetic that we can ever become is clearly and simply when we are feeling good. Feeling good is when we are a magnet to our desires. So if you're anything lower than that, how about taking this time, this singledom time, and really just working on yourself. Learning to love you. Learning to be gentle to you. And all those other things I listed about a minute ago in this video. Take this time, it's serving. You're going to be so glad you did, and it's going to be the best gift you gave yourself going into 2021. All right, you guys, super much love. Also, I wanted to let you know that I have a brand new audio training called Eight Game-Changing Secrets No One Told You About Attracting a Great Guy. You can get all the details below in this video, and also you can get it at kristenbrown.org forward slash the number eight secrets. KristenBrown.org forward slash the number eight secrets. This, you guys, is the raw and real version of what we need to know to attract a great guy. This is no fluff. This is not about boob size. This is not about how rich you are. This is not about your sex positions. This is not about sending the perfect text, for God's sakes. This is about what really energetically attracts, attracts an awesome guy to you. All right, you guys, so much love. Wishing you mwah, happy holidays, a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Much love.